Hey, so recently it was a shipment of baby wipes that turned out to be 11, almost 12 million dollars worth of cocaine. Now, this was coming up from Mexico. Now me, I done done a couple loads, man. You know, I, I do a little truck driving thing. I done brought loads up from Mexico. Like what they'll do, they'll bring it to Mexico and uh, bring it up to Texas. And then in Texas, I grab it and take it wherever it's going from there. Cause me, I ain't going to no other country but America because I ain't going to jail in no other country. And this just, just show you how, when you're getting something from Mexico, you don't know what you're getting. So when that drain, and when they when I go through the little thing and a little drug dog come by, boy, I be nervous than a mug. Boy, I be in that dang truck. I'm like, are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, 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 I'm a U.S. citizen. Well, I be nervous as heck, man, because, see, that dog get the scratching on that truck, man. Them guys be having uh, assault rifles and submachine guns and junk. Shit, look, hey, so I already be nervous when I be getting junk from Mexico, boy. But, um, yeah, man, that junk came up. They thought it was baby wipes. They had it disguised as baby wipes, but that junk really was um, cocaine, man. Bricks on top of bricks on top of bricks on top of bricks, boy. You know, that's just crazy, man, because, boy, i tell you one thing, man. You know, all that. And then, look, this is the other little side of it. What you think they did with all that junk? Now, do you think that the police is just, what they going to do, burn it? You can't burn it. Everybody in the day, everybody in a 50-mile radius finna get high. So you can't burn it. What you think they did with that junk, man? Huh? What you think they do when they get all them bricks on top of bricks on top of bricks? They sell it to the highest bidder. That's one thing they do with it. Government been selling, man, government sell more drugs than anybody. I done, done videos on it. Look at my Rick Ross video. I mean, not Rick Ross, uh, Ronald Reagan video. Look at my Ronald Reagan video. It'll teach you all about that. But then just go to my page and go back. It ain't too far back. And then on top of that, what's the other thing they do? Check out, um, I got also a video called More Guns Than People. And I got a video called the government drop off crates of guns in the hood. Say so what they do, they sell it, they put it in the hood, man. <laughs> they put it in the hood. And they use that money to carry out other little stuff they do, man. So you think they really gonna just burn these drugs up or yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Twelve million dollars worth of drug. The government they don't get mad at people for selling drugs. They get mad at people for selling drugs without them getting a the cut. <laughs> Shoot, and if you think I'm lying, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. But uh, there's been proof. Like I said, look at that Ronald Reagan video. There's undocumented proof that the CIA was selling drugs uh, to, to, benefit the, uh, to benefit the American government. Man, this ain't no conspiracy theory. That's, that's fact, man. It's fact. It's proven fact. Proven fact, man. Um, you know, Ronald Reagan addressed it. The president not gonna address nothing that ain't true. You see what I'm mean? saying? Like, if you address something, that mean it's true. There's some truth to it. You don't address stuff that ain't true. Just hear what it is. It just hear what it. Am I not lying? Y'all address. If somebody come to you with something outlandish, somebody come to you and say, "Oh, you, you sacrifice." children like you're not gonna reply to that because you know you don't sacrifice to if somebody come to you and say man we seen you uh sneaking meat off the barbecue grill i'm like okay yeah all right, we, we talk about that okay we talk about that all right nigga, you got me you got me okay we can have that conversation man <laughs> you know anyway anyway so yeah man they brought in this uh these baby wipes, boy, thinking that that junk is uh, baby wipes. Could you imagine that junk, man? You sit there. So, and this is the thing. So, they was going to deliver this somewhere, some warehouse, I'm guessing. And then, somebody going to intercept the package. I wonder how they was going to do it, man. Because if it was me, this what I'd do. I had real baby wipes, right? Because, shoot, baby wipes ain't nothing but a, a 50 cent a piece, depending on, you know, a dollar, 50 cent pack. Maybe a dollar a pack. So you know you finna make 12 million off that shoe. I go buy me a big thing full of, I buy all of that baby, man, it won't be a baby wipe nowhere in a 50 mile radius. I'll be sending mugs out, go get me baby wipes you can. Don't come back till you got a car full of baby wipes. So then I'm gonna meet up with the truck with the fake baby wipes, meet up in the woods somewhere, somewhere dark something, bam, swap that out, swap the baby wipes out for the coke. Shoot, <laughs> head on down the road. I guess that's what they was gonna do. 
because it's too risky to like deliver it to a warehouse and then try to get it from there. But man, the thing was crazy about it, bro. You know they got the drug dogs. You know you got to get past the dogs and jump. So you already knowing, like you know, how, how did they think that was gonna work? It's like how did you think that was gonna work? So I'm thinking they must have had an inside guy that was supposed to just let that junk slide through. But, um, you know, something happened, man. That's all I can see. That's the only way I can see. But, you know, this would trip me out, though. So you got the U.S.-Mexican border, right? Now, the border is many, 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 many miles long, right? It's not like, you know, the, the border is extremely long. The Mexico-U.S. border is so long, like, and it's not patrolled, like, unless I'm wrong, they not patrolling you can't you just can't man you just can't p patrol this whole border i done drove through um texas many many times there's some stretches of texas where um there's just stretches of texas and arizona is just that desert stretch man where you got like 200 miles of nothing man no gas like you better have your gas when you get there you better have you some food you better have you some water whatever you better have it and i know because i mean i was coming through it one time and this African guy, man, he was like, he was at the, it's a rest stop. Now, it is a rest stop. There's one thing it is. It is one rest stop through there. Like, almost when you're at the end, and maybe the last 30, 40, 50 miles, I think, it's like a rest stop. And uh, we at the rest stop, and the guy was getting water to put in his car. Like, boy, you out here overheating? Yeah, man, I, I overheat this. <laughs> and he's smiling. I said, boy, I don't know what you smell. <laughs> this is not the place to be leaking coolant, boy. You tripping, man. This is not the place to be leaking coolant, man. For y'all that don't know, coolant will keep your car cool, man. So this is not the place to have a car that's overheating and junk. But anyway, so yeah, he coming passing through, whatever, bam, bam. So, um, you know, but all that stretch, you telling me you can't meet up somewhere in the middle of nowhere like that? Man, look, I'm going to meet y'all out there. You know, we're going we gonna to pass this junk across the border and head on up like why do you have to go through customs and all that stuff man like that's the question i want to see answered why is you going through customs why is you trying to cross the border where everybody else crossing the border it got to be some kind of dead zone somewhere out there in the middle of nowhere bro so it gotta be you gotta be a spot somewhere where you can pass your dope along without anybody knowing you can't tell me it ain't uh somewhere out somewhere man it just it gotta be so that's why I'm looking at it, man. Like, why is y'all, why is y'all even in this predicament? If it was me, I'd be like, look, man, we're gonna go way out of just the coordinates. You know, I mean, this how you get there. You know, get y'all a little, get you an off-road, something, something. You know, get you a Jeep or something off-road. Put a little trailer on the back, get you some spare tires, make sure you got everything you need, and meet me at this location right here. We're gonna load you up. Uh, if it's a fence out there, we're going to cut a hole in that mug, dig up under it, throw the dope over top of it. We're going to do what we got to do. And uh, after that, y'all make it, make it do what it do. Drive safe. Drive safe, man. <laughs> that would be, be my motto if I was a dope boy. Drive safe, nigga. <laughs> Whatever y'all do, drive safe. No, nah, it wouldn't be no nigga, man. If I was just selling dope, I'd have old white women. All my drivers would be old white women, boy. I'm talking about the old one where they got a hole, put two hands on the steering wheel. You know, they, hold on, this is how they be like this. Hey, come on, man, come on. I had them old white ones, I like to. That's all my drives would be like that, boy. I wouldn't be messing around with nobody, uh, nobody out there, uh, nah, police, see, somebody like me, police gonna be, they gonna mess with me just because, because. Shoot, I, I had me somebody. I know the police. If anything, he's going to be trying to help her get on down the road. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's who I want. I had me some Karens, man. I give me some Karens to deliver my dope. Police even try to say something to them. They, you know, them Karens go off, boy. Who you think you is? You trying to pull me over? You're hurting my rights. You're infringing upon my rights to be a citizen. You're in my space. Get out of my space. Boy, I had me some care. <laughs> uh, police me like, don't worry, ma'am. Go, go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Never mind. I'm sorry. Never mind. I'm sorry. That's what I had, boy. I had me some cans moving dope. 
all over the U.S. Well, I be moving so much dope, nobody, man, I'm telling you, if I was moving dope, shit, nobody will ever know. I'd be so good at it, I'll forget. <laughs> I'd be moving that dope so smooth, I'll forget that I'm doing it. They come by my house, drop me off a hundred, met that hundred man. I'll be like, what, man, what this money? What this money for? This, this money for the stuff. Like, what stuff you talking about? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I'll be smooth with it, boy. I'll be smooth, boy. I tell you, man, drop that money off somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I had in there drop that money off in a state like, like Arkansas. Now, Arkansas, I looked, I'd be like, man, drop that money off in Arkansas. Just and just drop it off somewhere around there. I come get it. Don't come on. Don't come nowhere near Atlanta. Don't meet me in Chicago. Don't meet me nowhere. In none of the major cities I be in. Drop that junk off in Arkansas, somewhere. I gonna pick it up from over there. And I when I get there, I get there and I watch that money. I watch that money for like for like a week. Just see what happens. Then after a week, I'm gonna go pick it up. And when I pick it up, I'm gonna be moving. <laughs> Shoot, I'm gonna be moving. I'm gonna have me a hook or something. Reach that hook out, never even get out the car. Never even put it in park. Shoot, I'll be mad. I'll be moving so smooth. And then I'm done. Once I get, shoot, once I get me about 100 grand, all I like, see, that's the thing, man. If I sold dope, I wouldn't need no more than, shoot. Give me about 50. I get 50. No, I get about, they give me a brand new, I get me a, a truck, a trailer. Shoot, I get me a nice dually pickup. About, about 60, 70, maybe 70, but about 60 on a pickup, another five on a trailer, shoot, I'm done. Then yeah, had me another, I have, I have about 20 in the bank, just in case engine blow, trans blow, tires on it. About another 20 for expenses and junk, just till I get a little money saved up in the kitty, I'm done. Shoot, that's all I need. That's all I damn need, boy. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, I ain't no greedy. I ain't greedy. Shoot. That's all I need, bro. And I be on, I be down the road, bro. I be on down the road. I don't have to look, shit, nigga. Look, that's pro. But folk get greedy, man. That's the problem, man. Folk get greedy, bro. Get greedy. That's how you get messed up. Don't take that much out there, man. Don't take that much. Shoot. But anyway, yeah, man. That's crazy, man. That dang baby wipes, bro. Baby wipes, bro. Ain't that something, man? Mm, mm, mm. So, uh. You know, my baby ain't no baby no more, but shoot, if I was buying wipes now, boy, you better double check that junk, boy. <laughs> shoot, they be the snuck one of them cocaine bricks, and snuck on one of them cocaine bricks, snuck through. Shoot. <laughs> oh, boy, you open that mug up. Shoot. Man, don't tempt me, boy. I don't know, I don't know, I ain't got no brain. I don't even, who would I call? If I found a brick of cocaine, who, who, I'm try, I ain't gonna say nobody's name, but I'm trying to think. I got, I got some people I would call, but they in, they in Chicago. I probably call some of my, one of my guys from Chicago. I ain't got nobody from. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I know some. Yeah, yeah, I know about two, three people. <laughs> I know two for sure. My God, yeah. I know too far I can call for sure. I get, hey man, look, I got a brick. I don't know what to do with it. Don't know, you know, hey, I know you know. Now look, I don't even look. Give me a, uh, I don't even know how much they ask you for. I'll be on Google searching. How much is a brick of cocaine worth? <laughs> I think a brick gets you about 12, 12 bands. Last time I remember, I remember hearing like a brick was like 12 bands. I might be wrong though. That's the last I heard. But anyway, man, y'all, you know, y'all see y'all. Y'all be good to the next video.